That is just a pile of deer. Holy criminy. That's more like a hundred head right there. Hundred plus. Bunch of stags in there, but just no shooters yet. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> you come to a high point on the, on the ranch, do a little bit of glassing up here. Um, the roar is over, so it's a, a bit of a quieter time for the big stag, but uh, we'll give it a shot. This is my first visit to Argentina. And so being a part of this hunt with my brother in Argentina, this iconic destination to hunt stag just really had me, had me pumped and I was, uh, yeah, really psyched to be coming to Argentina. Argentina is legendary for its high volume wing shooting, big game and world-class trout angling. Couple that with the amazing food and culture, and it's easy to see why every year more international hunters come to Argentina than the entire continent of Africa. Our team rendezvoused for a festive night in Buenos Aires before departing for our ultimate destination, Tipaluque Lodge, in the stunning Patagonia wilderness. Yeah. You know, if we had a ram pickup truck, we could take it one truck. There you go. Tipaluque is surrounded by a 60,000 acre ranch. Amazing resources, lots of trout in the river, quail, you've got stags, you've just got this amazing lodge, which is operated by some of the most wonderful people I've ever had host me anywhere. That's what Tipaluque is all about. Okay. The world famous Tipaluque Lodge, we finally made it. Here we go. Chris and Amy and Carol and I have talked about doing a trip to Argentina for a long time. And uh, I just retired a couple of weeks ago. So this is a chance for us to get together as a, as a family group, really, to do this hunt. And I couldn't be happier that it's finally come together. Well, that's a nice one in the back. He's pretty, he's classic. He's got a crown on both sides. Largely, Argentina still is pretty much wild, free-range stags. These aren't the, the giant behemoth stags. These are the stags that grow on the land and live by the land. Tell you what, last day, he looked pretty good. He's, he looks pretty good right now, but we've definitely seen better ones in here. They've been getting a lot of pigs out of here, too. It's just full of game. They love this river bottom, too. It's good and lush. Lots of food. Well, we're going to find a bigger one. If there is heaven on earth, it might be Tipaluque Lodge. The food, the fellowship, and the hunting are supreme. The magic of Tipaluque Lodge is its amazing diversity. The greatest big game, small game, wing shooting, and fishing in the world can all be found at one location. Nice rainbow. From stag to snipe, no matter what type of game you prefer to chase, you can find it here in Southern Argentina. And if you want to try and sample everything on the menu, you can try for the famed Tipaluque Slam, taking everything offered here, stag, boar, quail, snipe, and both rainbow and brown trout. And we, we got onto just a beautiful stag that we saw far off in the distance. There he is. So we made this about a mile stalk to come in there. Suddenly there's more stags and more hinds behind the cover. We sat out and we just waited and waited and waited. Finally, we got set up. He's straight ahead. Here we go. After he had been moving through heavy cover, got up a little bit higher angle, he was just ready to squeeze as he stepped in an opening and he just sort of, oh no. Boom, bedded down. That <laughs> was one of those. After all that, he decides to bed down literally one second away from me squeezing the trigger. So we sat and we sat maybe 20 minutes before finally that stag gets up. Got him down. Here we go. Dang it, I still got a lot of grass. He's got one right behind him. No, he's clear. Here we go. But for a half hour, we're sitting there in shooting distance, just waiting for exactly the right shot, waiting for the, the hinds to move away, waiting for the calves to move away that were in front of him. Yeah, he's got a clear. And finally gave us a little bit of a window to get the shot. 
Here we go. We made a cow. Boom. Perito. Smacked him, made, made a perfect <laughs> shot. He didn't go 30 yards. Tips over. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Heavy old bugger. <laughs> That's, that's what they look like. That's what wild ones, really good wild ones look like right there. Beautiful, beautiful crown. Classic red deer right here. Good shot. Yeah, no, he, he went about 25 yards and got Winchester right there. Beautiful stuff. There's a lot to love about Argentina and the fun is just beginning. The next morning, Joe and his guide quickly found a herd of red deer and were able to get within shooting range. We got down there, got set up. They're all on alert, and we're trying to get a steady shot. What I thought was 150 meters out suddenly was a lot more than that. And I tracked that stag. He finally stops, put the bead on him right in the middle of the chest, pull the trigger. They all come tearing up the, the ravine at that point. Next stop was 400 yards out, and it's just too far to be shooting that far. So I was so bummed. I was really disappointed. It's one of those moments where you start recreating, replaying this in your head, and you think, wow, I blew that badly. <laughs> then you think, well, better to let them get away. Better to not injure an animal and, uh, and then have the chance to come back at it the next day. We'll get him tomorrow. So far, Joe's stag hunt has seen strike one and strike two. Lots of fog. It's really foggy. Hey. Nice. A little bit of a bench that we're on, looking down over this flat land where the Red deer were grazing. There are so many deer down there. Nice stag in the, in the group. 200 meters. As you're playing back what happened last night and how I missed that opportunity, my heart rate starts going up. I'm thinking, aim small, miss small. Get on this guy and, and don't blow it. Okay, I shoot when I hit it's clear. That's okay. When that moment came, I fired. Got her. Good shot. Down. Down. Good shot. It was a good shot. It was a good shot. My first stag. Wow. Wow. Nice. Adrian. Nice. Good. Thank you, man. Good. Congratulations. Eh? Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. Bien hecho. <laughs> Bien hecho. Good hand. Oh, wow. Perfect. Looky here! Hey, <laughs> you hey. got her done, huh? <laughs> that is a classic old crown on him. Well hey, done, hey, man. Hey. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. No, I couldn't be happier. Look at that. Yeah. Nice stag, man. My first that red deer. Absolutely classic right there. Beautiful crown on him. Big, dark, and gnarly. Nice ivory tips on him. Look at the fronts, too. These are beautiful. Yeah. Really long fronts. Wow. Yeah, that's probably a record book animal right there, don't you think? <laughs> Maybe it's in your book anyway, isn't <laughs> My it? My book, it's tops. It's... No, that's a way this grande, is... man. That's a good one, really good one. Well done, man. Thank you, good thank job, you, thank brother. you, thank you. I'm so happy about this. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> Robert Ruark wrote, the best thing about hunting and fishing is that you don't have to actually do it to enjoy it. You can go to bed every night thinking about how much fun you had 20 years ago and it all comes right back clear as moonlight. It's good to know that my brother and I can look back on this trip 20 years from now and remember the time we spent together in Argentina. Some months ago with that aneurysm, um, I didn't know, I didn't know how many opportunities like this I'd have again. So, so it's very special to have had that time with, with my family and reveled in the things that really are very important in life.